Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a differential equation. A very simple one, actually. We have a function f of x, and we have this equation f prime of x equals 1 over f of x. So in other words, this is a special type of function whose derivative equals its reciprocal. And so can you think of a function whose derivative is going to equal its reciprocal at this point? So you might make some guesses. That's fine. It will be helpful. And we'll, I'll be presenting two methods, even though the methods are somewhat similar. I know some people are going to complain about it, but that's okay. But I just want to show you two different approaches, slightly different. And at the end, when we get the solutions, we're also going to plug it in to see uh, how this works. But at this point, I want you to think about what kind of function will satisfy this equation. Is there only one type of function, or can we find more than one function? Is f... Uh, continuous, so on and so forth. There's a lot of questions. Uh, obviously, there is a domain, but I'm not going to talk about it until after we get the solution. So let's get started with the first method. So for my first method, I'm going to replace f of x with y. And you probably know y, right? And it's, uh, it's going to simplify the process. So this gives me y prime equals 1 over y. Now, y prime can be written as, since y is a function of x, and we're talking about the derivative of y with respect to x, so I can use the d notation, which is helpful if you are dealing with a function that can be differentiated with respect to different variables, right? Sometimes we use chain rule, uh, we have the parametric curve, so on and so forth. Anyways, so dy over dx expresses the derivative of y with respect to x. Even though it looks like a fraction, it's not necessarily a fraction, it's like a, maybe a ratio of infinitesimal quantities. Anyways, so we can write this as 1 over y. And now, at this point, which is very important, we are going to end up with a separable differential equation. So separable equations are very easy to solve, because all you have to do is separate the variables and integrate both sides. So that's the strategy. If you cross multiply, you get y dy equals 1 dx. And then if you go ahead and integrate both sides, then on the left, you're going to get y, the integral of y with respect to y. So what's the integral of any power of y? Like y to the n, y to the power n is y to the power n plus 1 over n plus 1, plus c, remember, as long as n does not equal negative 1, because that's going to cause problems. But y is uh, n is 1 in its case. So we're going to increase the power and divide by that power. And I'm going to save the constant for right-hand side because we only need one constant. Equals 1. What's the integral of 1? Think about it in terms of derivatives or antiderivatives. The deriv derivative of which function is 1? And the answer is x plus a constant, right? Great. And constant is needed because when you differentiate a constant, if it's being added, then its derivative is zero. That's why we always need to add a constant when integrating or finding an antiderivative. Okay? Hopefully that makes sense. Now we're going to go ahead and multiply both sides by 2. That's going to give us y squared equals 2x plus 2c. 2c or not 2c. And then since c is a constant, 2c is a constant, we can replace it with something like k. k is another constant that represents... 2c, okay? So now we got this equation, y squared equals 2x plus k. So that's the function we're looking for, but it's y squared, right? So I want to get y, and obviously we take the square roots, but there are two solutions that come from absolute values, right? Absolutely. So that gives us y equals plus minus the square root of 2x plus k. So that kind of gives you two solutions. And since the constant is inside, we still have to use the plus minus sign. Sometimes when you have a constant like, you know, you'll be getting solutions like y equals, you know, plus minus k times something, something. In this case, you can kind of forget about the plus minus because k can be positive or negative, so it'll take care of every value. Make sense? But we don't have that, so we have to keep it. And we can kind of split it up if you want. y is either square root of 2x plus k or y is square root negative that of that, okay? So when I ask you the question, what type of function when differentiated gives you its reciprocal, the answer would be that. And if k is zero, obviously, then you get a special solution. And obviously, if we had initial conditions, 
then you could use them to find the value of k, which would be determined by the initial conditions. And by the initial conditions, I mean something like, let's say if they tell you f of 0 is equal to 1, okay? Then you would replace x with 0 and set it equal to 1, and from there you would find the k value. Make sense? Okay. We don't have that, but if we did, what you would do is you would say, hey, f of x is equal to the square root of 2x plus k in the first case scenario. And let's just forget about k equals 0 for now. I don't want to confuse you. And now f of 0 is going to be the square root of k. And if this is 1, that means k is equal to 1. And then plugging it back in would give us f of x equals square root of 2x plus 1. And that will be the solution the particular solution for this initial value. But if you use the second one, f of x equals negative square root of 2x plus k, and if you plugged in 0, f of 0 would be negative square root of k, and if this is equal to 1, then that would mean the square root of k is negative 1, but from here you would not get a real value because there is no real number whose square equals, I mean, whose square root equals negative 1, that will be, what number? Okay, that will be 1 again, but this, this time we would be dealing with a complex number. Make sense? If you think in the complex sense, 1 has two square roots, that's why 1 to the power 1 half is equal to negative 1 in one of the problems that we recently did. It's a little bit of a use of notation, but that's okay. Now, so in the second one, we kind of get an interesting scenario, but that's basically what it is with an initial value scenario. I just wanted to give you that extension or, you know, a bonus. So let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. With the second method, let me rewrite the problem. f prime is equal to 1 over f. So hopefully you're convinced that this radical function will satisfy this, and you can always test it out, and we'll do that. So now we have this uh, scenario. Let's multiply f of x times f prime of x equals 1. Now this kind of tells me why don't we multiply both sides by, and let me kind of space it out a little bit like this. I want to multiply both sides by dx. And the motivation behind it is I want to integrate this thing. So let's go ahead and do it. If you integrate both sides, you get this integral equals that integral. Right-hand side is easy, but left-hand side, let's use substitution. I know we're kind of like stretching this, but if you call this u, this will be du, right? So we have the integral of du, u du, which is u squared over 2, and that equals x plus c. And if you multiply by 2, you get 2x plus 2c, which can be written as 2x plus k again, k being a constant. And then u is f of x, so we're going to plug it in, and then we're, uh, we'll arrive at the exact same solutions as before. So hopefully you're convinced that square root of 2x plus k is going to satisfy, and if you wanted to test it out real quick, you can actually look at a particular value, which is for k equals 0 from the first branch, and you can dif differentiate this. How do you differentiate this radical function? The derivative of the inside divided by 2 times this function, and as you can see, it's the reciprocal. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.